Hey there, this is Nate here again. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little different from what I usually do. Um, instead of doing a review, today I'm going to do more of um, an explanation type thing. This is going to be um, the first part in a group um, of sort of information type um, videos that will explain to you how to use your camera, how cameras work, what different settings mean, that kind of stuff, and just things that you, uh, you should know in order to help you make better photos. Okay, so today I'm going to be discussing um, just the basics of how an SLR camera works. Um, that includes uh, the design of the thing, how it all works, um, and the different systems that get you a picture. So let's get right into it. I mean, um, first I'm going to show you an illustration um, of how a camera actually works. Okay, so this is my, um, again, my very crude uh, representation of a camera. So here's the lens. Let me grab my, grab my pencil here, it's a little easier. Here's the lens. And in order for you to actually see the image, the light, or the image, travels like this. Comes in through the lens, through the aperture, that's the aperture right there. Hits the mirror right here and then goes up onto this thing called the pentaprism, bounces back like that and then out like that into your eye. So that's how you actually see the image um, before you take it. What happens when you um, actually take the image is a little bit different. Okay, so what actually happens when you click the shutter button to take a photo? Here's what happens. This mirror flips all the way up like that. And at the same time, actually, well, like milliseconds later, rather, the shutter right here opens up. And that admits the light to the sensor. And the shutter closes, and then the mirror drops back down. And that all happens in a fraction of a second. So when you take a picture and you see your, your viewfinder go completely black, that's when this mirror has flipped up and as you know it goes really quickly it just goes like that and it's back um, so that's um, essentially how the photo is captured okay so the next thing I have for you guys are the, um, the four basic elements of an exposure what we have here is the shutter speed um, this is a crudely drawn shutter um, uh, ap the aperture uh, size a crudely drawn aperture um, ISO, really can't be drawn, um, and uh, available light or supplied light depending on whether you're using a flash or something. So the shutter speed refers to how quickly or how slowly um, the shutter of the camera opens. Um, the aperture refers to how big or how small um, the iris inside the lens is open. Um, the ISO um, uh, indicates the, sens uh, the sensor's relative uh, sensitivity to light. Um, a higher ISO number will make your uh, images more sensitive to light. A lower number will make your images less sensitive to light. And um, a crudely drawn sun here, which um, just represents um, external light, which can be any light source, um, anything that brightens or darkens your image apart from ISO, shutter speed, or um, aperture. So you could have the sun, you could have um, a desk lamp like I have over there, you could have a speed light, um, any source of available light other than these three things. Um, so you mean strobes, um, light coming through windows, fireworks even, really you name it. Um, if it doesn't fit one, two, three, then it's in here. Okay. So what exactly do these four things mean in relation to one another? Well, um, available light uh, remains relatively fixed. Um, when I say relatively fixed, um, there are some instances where you can control it. Um, for example, like if you have a speed light, obviously you can dial in different settings for that. Um, but if you're like uh, in sunlight or something, you could use neutral density filters or... Um, circular polarizers or different things that can cut down on that but they're harder to uh, to adjust than these other three are where you just punch in a couple buttons on the camera and you're ready to go. So what do I mean when I say that these are proportional to one another? Well, 
an increase in one needs a decrease in the other. Say I were to take my ISO um, up from 400 to 800, okay? And say when it was at 400, my shutter speed um, was at 100, uh, 1 one hundredth of a second. Well, when I go from 400 to 800 on this, I'm doubling the ISO. So I would need to double um, the shutter speed. So this would go from 100 to 200, and that would give you roughly the same exposure. Um, and what I'll do is I'll demonstrate just that, and I'll put some pictures um, of that exact same um, exposure, ISO 400 to 800, um, and 100 to 200 uh, fraction of a second um, for shutter speed. I'll show you those right now so you can see what I mean. Aperture values are a little different. Um, I don't perfectly understand the way they are split up. Um, I know they're based on the square root of 2. Um, uh, I'm trying to think here. And then I think it doubles every time uh, for a full stop. I think this is what it is. So it would be 1.4, 2.8, 5.6. Um, and that's as far as I know off the top of my head. Those are full stops. Um, I think, like I said, I, I really don't understand this very well. If somebody out there knows um, how the aperture system breaks down um, for uh, full stops or half stops, I want you to let me know um, because it's something I'm not, uh, I'm not as familiar with. But it works on the same principle. Like, say you're at f, f4 um, and you're at 1 one hundredth of a second on the shutter speed and you drop down to f2.8, um, your shutter speed is going to have to go up. Um, I don't know exactly what that exposure will be, because like I said, I don't know how um, the aperture numbers are rated specifically. Um, but as your aperture number goes down, um, one of your other settings has to become less sensitive to light, because as your aperture number goes down, your aperture opens and lets more light into the sensor. So it would be the same thing for ISO. So say you were to go um, from f2, um, f4 to f2.8, you could leave your shutter speed the same, and you could go, I don't, like I said, I don't know, but I'm just saying you could maybe go from ISO 800 to 400, depending on what your shooting is. Okay, so what is shutter speed? Um, shutter speed is the amount of time that um, your sensor is exposed to light. Um, so therefore, if you were to go from let's say, a shutter speed of 1 200th of a second to 1 400th of a second um, in order to um, achieve the same result, um, you would have to increase, you'd have to double your aperture, whatever that value would be, like I said, I don't know. Um, you'd have to uh, decrease your aperture number to some number. Um, or you could go from, say, um, 400 to 800 um, on your ISO to get a comparable exposure. Um, so it really is, it's just a balancing act. When one goes up, the other has to go down by the same amount. Um, and you're going to have to do a little playing around uh, with your camera to see what works for you. Um, but that's basically the way they work. Um, they all work together as a system. Um, and like I said, available light, um, you really don't have much wiggle room for in most situations. Um, but there will be some situations where you do, and when you can, that's something to consider. Um, Evaluating full stops and that kind of stuff is kind of difficult. You might need something like a light meter for that. Um, but if you can just tone down the lights in your room and then just play around from there um, with whatever works, you might be able to find something. Okay, so that was the very basic um, introduction to the way, um, the way cameras work and the way um, there are different mediums for adjusting uh, light flow uh, through your camera, how they work. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask me, but most of your questions I'm sure will be answered in pre in, um, uh, upcoming videos because I'm going to be doing uh, more in-depth explanations of each one of these, um, which will be up shortly. Um, so if you do have questions, you can ask me, but they will most likely be answered um, in the next videos. Uh, so uh, stay posted. These will be up shortly. Um, my name is Nate, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, brief introduction uh, to the way uh, digital SLR cameras work.